Hello, this is Ray Mark with Senior Application Engineer at Valen Corporation, and this video is going to show you how to take the NX Safety PLC from program mode through debug and then into the running mode where the machine will be shipped with the safety controller and the controller will operate to protect the machine. Okay, so if you've been following our other videos, you have a project and it may look something like this, but um, just due to different work I've been doing, might look a little bit different than what you've got in, in yours, but it doesn't matter. If you've got a valid project, uh, we wanna make it so that now you can uh, validate this project and run it automatically whenever the safety CPU is powered up. This is what the NX safety CPU looks like when it's brand new and powered up. You can see the lights flashing, debug, valid, run, and then all the lights on the input and output modules are flashing. So I'm already online. You can tell by this orange bar here. I clicked on this uh, online button here. And now that I'm online, I need to go to the controller menu and change the mode to debug. You'll get a bunch of these messages that you can just answer yes or okay to. If you have entered a password for the controller to protect it, then you'd need to enter that here. It's a good idea during development just to leave the password blank until you actually deploy the system uh, out in the field or, or sell the machine that it's on or whatever. Okay, so now I'm in debug mode. And here you can see the LEDs on the controller. The debug light is on solid, the lights have stopped flashing, and the run light is off. And you can see based on these two inputs being true, that if the, if the safety CPU is running, then this output should be on because this one means that it, it's going to automatically uh, reset the output, meaning turn it on when the PLC first powers up. And then th this one means it's going to reset whenever those input conditions are satisfied as they are here where the safety e-stop is is true. So obviously the program's not running, so we're gonna to go to the controller menu, go to debug, and then start. We already went to the mode, changed it to debug. Our only other option there is for program. So we go to the debug menu here and say start. And now right away you can see that this output is true. Also, if you look at the safety CPU LEDs, you can see that the debug light is on but also now the run light is on, meaning that the program is being executed. So now we could test this and make sure everything's working, but let's assume we've already done that and we're ready to deploy this program. Maybe this is a program that we deploy on every machine. So we, we're just ready to make it go and work so that the safety PLC will run this on its first cycle or whenever it powers up. So we have to go down here and we can go to debug, but there's only stop, so we don't want to stop it. Uh, we can go to mode and there's only program. We don't want to go to program mode. So that leaves safety validation. And what we'll do is validate the program. And we just say, yes, we're going to validate it. It's going to ask a few questions here. So now it says the safety CPU unit will start in the run mode on the next startup. And if I look at the LEDs on the front of the CPU, you'll see that the debug LED is still illuminated. So even though we validated it and finished that process, it's still in debug mode. So we could either cycle power right now and it will power up in run mode or we'll click on the run mode option here. And in the background, I heard the relay turn off because it had been turned on in debug mode. That's the output relay from our function block here. And now I heard it go back on because the CPU went into run mode. And if we go back to the CPU with a little bit of Blair Witch type photography or videography, you can see that the validation light is on and the run light is on, but the debug light, even though it looks like it's on, it's off. So we're in run mode. And with, like I said in the very beginning, with both of these set to true, it's basically going to reset this safety output every time the safety input is true. 
Okay, that's it for commissioning the safety PLC and getting it into run mode. If you have questions, you can contact us at the number above or reach out to us at valen.com and we'd be happy to help.